In this video, we are going to unbox and test the Crucial X8 SSD. I purchased the two terabyte model that supports speeds of up to 1050 megabytes per second. Let's unbox the hard drive and see what's in the box. You get the hard drive, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and a USB-C to USB-A adapter. I really like the length of the cable, not too long, not too short. The hard drive is made of aluminum and has a rubber outer shell to give high durability. It's rated to survive a drop from up to 7.5 feet and Crucial gives you a 3 year warranty on this SSD. The Crucial comes in 1TB, 2TB, and 4TB models. The hard drive comes pre-formatted in XFAT for full compatibility with Windows, Mac, iPads, Chromebooks, Androids, Linux, PS4, and Xbox One using USB-C. When I tested on my MacBook, I wasn't able to hit the full 1050 megabytes per second. My test on my 2021 MacBook Pro 14 inch ended up around 800 to 950 megabytes per second read and write, which is still very fast. I formatted it to APFS on my MacBook, but I was still unable to get the faster speeds due to the way that Thunderbolt 4 handles USB 3.2. I did a test and I was able to move 170 gigabytes of files from my internal MacBook hard drive to this in about 3 minutes. There's a lot that'll affect speeds including the device throughput, the ports on your device, the cable you use, and even the applications being used. This hard drive is great for storing files, but you can also edit off of it, especially if you're storing the original media on the external hard drive and using proxy files on your computer hard drive. Just note, this will function slower than many laptop hard drives. For comparison, I get around 4,000 to 5,000 megabytes per second read and write on my MacBook Pro hard drive. I also really like the Samsung T7 Shield drive due to the higher durability rating and the ability to password protect the hard drive, but the Crucial X8 is a great buy that can often be found for cheaper than the Samsung drive. So overall, I think for the price and amount of storage, this hard drive is a great buy, but if you plan on editing footage off of it, you might look into an SSD that uses Thunderbolt to get top speeds. I have links to purchase this SSD in the description below. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about this hard drive and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great content.